is Joni Babona and I am a third year student at the University of Goroka and I study political science. I first joined the Clean Generation campaign in 2019 when I was a first year student. One of the fundamental programs that we attended was the DREAM program. The DREAM program has um, helped me to become more purposeful, virtuous and responsible. Part of being responsible, we learned, is giving back to communities. And this leads me to um, speak about the Taraba project that the UOG student leaders have been working on with um, the help of our alumni, Mr. Norman Kasa, who is now a teacher at Tarabo Secondary School. And we, as a group of student leaders, came up with a small idea to um, carry out a water, well water project in this community. So we got together and came up with this idea to um, apply for this grant that the Clean Generation Campaign was offering, uh, a grant of 10,000 to student groups. And um, this is how we applied for this um, grant to, to carry out the water well project in Tarabo. project site survey we went and we surveyed the land and we saw the need of the school or other people that they need water supply good proper water supply and the equipment that they need to access the water from underneath the ground no I don't know this is a place um, I can see the, uh, the water is a very problem to this place now time people are looking transition and such things and people are pointing Big block container or kind of seminar. We normally go and fetch water maybe about two to three kilometers far away, our distance. And then we can bring a working distance to our school for doing cooking and, of course, uh, laundry and such things. Our body is made out of 75% of water, so we need water. If there is no water, we, we can look for some place like if we, our thing is running out, we can go, up, go to a place where. Uh, we dig, dig a well, a small well that we can find water. It makes us very happy that we have no water, so they come and make our life so easy to get the water from the well. We submitted our project proposal in March and we, are, we awaited the response from the HQ team down in Port Mosby to give us feedback on our proposal. So once we got feedback from the HQ team informing us that our project proposal was approved and it was shortlisted, we were all happy because we knew that we were on the right track. Before we started the, the project at the Tarawa, we were told to attend a, a workshop online about the project management workshop online. And uh, it, was, it was very successful and we completed well. And one very important thing that we learned from that project that I want to quote here is uh, about the risk management. While going through the uh, project management, we, for almost two days, we learn about the risk management, how to, like, if something happened, how we're going to go about and solve that problem. And it, really helpful, uh, it was really helpful to us and it, like, especially, uh, it helped us to be able to, like, uh, give us uh, confidence to go about uh, doing the project. Uh, or with the help of uh, Brother Stein, one of the students here at uh, UOG as well, uh, we come up with a uh, project design. So in our project, we have uh, four components, uh, like a project design, we have four components of the design. And uh, one is the water well. Water well, like we take uh, dug about a uh, 5.8 meter deep. The second component is uh, the pump, uh, uh, submersible, unlike uh, the, the external one, but it's a submersible where we're gonna put into the, the well. And the third one is the, we, in our design, we include a 9,000 liter tank and uh, plus uh, four different tap stand. After completing our design, we met with the team at Tarabo, uh, the principals and uh, those team at Tarabo, and about uh, what to go and what is expected from them and all this stuff we discussed about it. Uh, we discussed uh, with them what to do and when to start the project and when we'll leave Yoji and go up. So after we, Discuss with that we're ready for the procurement, the procurement process. For the 
our procurement pro process, it only took us about two days to buy the materials in the hardware that we had the quotations from. The first day, we purchased much of the, most of the materials here in Goroka and just the pump. We didn't have the one that we uh, needed for the project, so we had to buy it in Port Mosby. We had a connection with some of our friends there that they they, bought, uh, they got a quotation in one of the hardware in Port Mosby and we had to con uh, connect with the procurement officer to purchase it in that hardware and bring it along with him to Goroka. One of the difficulties that we faced along the procurement process was getting the quotations in the nearby hardware in Goroka. Since we were all students, we had to uh, make time available to get the quotations done. And the students that helped to get the quotations were Stein, Brian, and some of the boys. So with the help of those boys, we got the quotations in the several hardware, and we had to compare the prices in each of the hardware and go for the, the reasonable price for each of the metrics and we purchased them. So on the day that we would be traveling to the project site in Okapa, we had brief meetings with our students. We had almost 40 students who uh, we took up to Okapa and we had support from the Tarabo School Track, the Eastern Highlands Education Department, Cruza, and the University of Goroka School Bus. After collecting all these materials, um, we were off on the highway. We had all our students accommodated at one of the staff houses in Tarabo Lutheran High School. That evening, we had a briefing with all our students on the work that we would be doing. And the next day, we started the work. The first three days of working was mainly focused on constructing the well as well as preparing the area and space for us to put up the tank. We briefed everyone in the morning on the specific task that we were going to complete on that day and after that we split up into two main teams. Team one was stationed at the worksite near the well and team two stayed back at the house to do cooking and catering for the whole team. The construction team mainly consisted of boys working inside and around the well. To make it easier for us, we had ourselves divided into groups of four boys working inside the well. So we would dig up the soil, remove the rocks, remove the water, and after three hours, a new group would go down and do the same. So we had these three hourly shifts going on throughout the whole day using basic digging equipment like shovels, buckets, spades, and crowbars. While some of us were working inside and around the well, a few other boys went to prepare the space and area and to dig the footing for the stand that would support our 9,000 litre tank. It was a real challenge for us constructing the well because we had to dig up the soil, remove the rocks and dirt and water that was filling up in the well at the same time. Another challenge we faced while constructing the well was the collecting of rocks. The location was quite a long distance from the school, so we had to travel out by a school truck to the location and collect the rocks. We collected all the rocks and then we had to transport them back to the school again and then carry the rocks down to the worksite. 
By the end of the third day, we had already dug up the well or borehole a good 5.2 meters deep. We had already collected all the rocks and pebbles and sand for the constructing of the well, as well as prepared the area and space for the tank. Because some of the materials we needed for the work wasn't available at that time, we had to go back and wait for the school to get the materials. And after one week, we regrouped and went back to the work site with 40 students. So after we had dug the well a good 6.2 meters deep, it was time for us to install the pipe for the well. We had rocks placed on the sides of the well to support the integrity of the well. And as a natural method to help filter the water, we had pebbles, rocks and sand placed inside of the well as a natural method to help purify the water. After completing the inside of the well and installing the pipe, we were assisted by the carpenter to help seal off the well with concrete. We did backfilling and after it was completely sealed off, we continued on to work on the tank. Setting up the tank was a real challenge for us because we had to use manpower to lift up the tank and hoist it up onto our 5 meter tank stand. It was a really dangerous task because an accident could happen if we weren't careful. We had set up the tank and it was time for us to do a pump test. So we attached all our pipe fittings as well as tank fittings and we had our main pipeline running from inside of the tank attached to the pump which we sank into the well. With the assistance of our design and tech students, we connected all the electric components and then we turned on the genset. It was so exciting and also emotional for us to finally see water rushing out from the pipe, which was a need of the students and the people living in Tarabo School. successful pump test we continued on to work on the taps that we were going to put up. We dug trenches for the pipes of the taps and we had one tap stationed and installed near the storage tank and three others a good distance from the storage tank near one of the school buildings. We had one main line running from the storage tank up to the school science lab, which the school will continue to work on so that they'll also have water running up to the school science lab. Our project design was a success with our well, our 9,000 litre storage tank and a pump system applying water to four taps. Teamwork has been one of the main principles, one of the most important things in team building regarding the project at Tarbo. It was really heartwarming to see like small kids carrying stones and the building materials and we really we're really honored to have like small kids working with us. And we got help from the village carpenters as well. And when we were low on rations, uh, some of the locals were able to help us with um, food. And one thing interesting about our team is we were able to bond together and work as a team, like vibing together, making jokes, having fun. And most of the evenings, we, um, we sat by the fire with tell stories, like jokes, we laugh together, we share together, and also we sing together. It's really, really nice to see like people working together and talking together. And we were able to work together with locals, and most of them were students, like kids, and we were able to like talk to them more, and, like school staff encouraging them, talking to them, making them feel like, special and welcome to like join us. And all in all, we were able to complete most of the work because of effective communication and cooperation. 
And as the saying goes, teamwork makes the dream work. From the project that we did, some of the experiences that I've we encountered down there was shortage of water and walking long distances just to fetch water for drinking and cooking as well as washing. That was one of the uh, greatest experiences that we experienced down there. And as a final year student at the University of Goroka, this project is actually the first of its kind to happen in the school. And for what I've learned about this project is that as young people, Instead of we waiting for the government and complaining about the government to do something about the uh, government services in the country, we as young people should go out and give a hand to the community. Because as elite of this country, instead of complaining, we all can make a change. When launching the water project, we had the presence of the UOG chaplain, the district education advisor, the school principal, the uh, elders in the community and the whole student body to witness the launching of the water project in Tarabo. When launching the project it was both exciting and emotional for all the student leaders who took part in this project because of the amount of work and effort that they had put into this project. Um, seeing it uh, be accomplished was really overwhelming for all the students. And I feel really blessed to be part of this group of students who contributed positively to this community uh, with the Well Water Project. to encourage other young people out there to rise up and take the first step to drive change in your communities. Our playing small does not serve this nation. Let us all be more purposeful, virtuous, responsible in contributing positively to our nation. So, join the clean generation and join the movement.